is we're gonna be doing the dark aether and only one game challenge on the brand new round based shinonuma map here in vanguard zombies we are gonna have to break the rules a teeny tiny bit here so i currently have zero kills with the brand new smg however you guys know there is an on going bug here in vanguard where only very specific camo or attachments account for the seven attachments equipped so what we got to do to make sure that we're actually going to be able to get this done we got to load in game get one single kill we're going to have to back out and we're going to have to see if it counted if it counted we're good to go one single kill we back out all right that's it so it's going to be dark aether and only one game minus one cow because of a bug that's probably never going to get patched this is how all the one dark all right so we got one kill right we now proceed to leave the game and we see if that counted for the attachments. Are we good to go? So let's see if it counted for a kill. It indeed, we now have one out of 4,000 kills. Survivalist, boys, we're good to go. These attachments are gonna work. These attachments are gonna work. We're good to go, we're good to go. All right, now, now we do it all in one game. So Dark Aether in one game, minus one kill. But technically we're still, you know, it's, we'll get we'll get one extra kill at the end of the grind. We'll get one extra kill uh, just to make up for that, so. All right, moment of truth. Can we beat the very first Dark Aether in only one game challenge here in Vanguard Zombies? This is the first time we're doing it on the brand new Shinonuma round base map. And you guys know we're not going to be taking anything back here. We're going to start off by activating the Rampage Inducer right away. Doesn't matter if it's going to make it a little more difficult. Got to get this bad boy going here. We have done Dark Aether in one game on Terra Maledicta. We've done it on Durafong, but we've never tried it on the round based map. We're going to have to go all the way to pretty much health cap on this bad boy because uh, to get the 4,000 pack of bunch kills, you gotta grind quite a while. Ah! Uh, turn off the rampage inducer. Turn off the rampage inducer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh, ooh. Is this gonna be a more reoccurring series now? I hope so. If this is fun, oh my god, dude, I'd love to continue doing Dark Aether in one games on Vanguard. Oh, oh, we gotta get the three rapid kills. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit different than a Cold War Dark Aether in one game. We are actually gonna have to do some Easter egg steps and stuff. Finally got those 8K points. Let's go ahead, buy ourselves a little bit of jug or whatever you call the the red the red one. All right, and then we're gonna, not that way, not that way. We're gonna go ahead and pack a punch our bad boy. Cause you know, we gotta pack a punch this thing as soon as possible. Cause the hardest part about grinding camos in this game is the 4,000 pack a punch kill. So we're currently chilling at 79 eliminations. So theoretically, if we don't get a kill with anything else, we should get this uh, gold at 4,079 eliminations. Oh, oh, also got to check the covenants. I forgot the 2000 covenant kills uh, probably should get that done sooner or later. So let's see what we got here to offer. Oh, dead shot. Yes, every headshot's going to count for us. Ooh, the pack, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of the pack which camo on this map, but look at the coverage on this. Really like how it looks on this. That's, that's pretty fire. It at least covers this blueprint freaking fantastically. That's my favorite part of Dark Aether in one game's early round when you're getting a camo like every three seconds because you've got it maxed out and you don't have any camos. It's just popping up like crazy left and right. You got this. <laughs> you got mail. Oh, there you go. You got camo. Oh, another one. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. I did Lego. They made a shield wonder weapon. I think they're out of ideas. Yeah. Come on, there, there are still cool ideas for wonder weapons. I don't, I don't know. It could be like a... Honestly, bro, if they would have just made the Dark Aether Mastercraft into a wonder weapon, even if it shot regular bullets, bro, I think just looks sick. I don't know. Make it shoot like wonder waffle shots. But the ma half of the Mastercrafts look like they could have been fire wonder weapons. All right, I'm here for you. Hi. Bye. Hi. So there's four, four out of the 20 that we need. You say hello, I say goodbye. All right, now we can fail it. That's all I needed. What's your favorite map to release since Black Ops 3? Mauer Toten. Mauer Toten's honestly un like, the more Mauer Toten ages, I think the better it gets. Like when it launched, I don't even think it was my favorite Black Ops 3 map or my favorite Cold War map. At the launch, I don't know. I think I like D-Machina more, but Mauer Toten aged really well. It's so fun to go back and play. And I just feel like the amount of like, mainly just because Klaus, dude. Klaus is probably the thickest of any, like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something real controversial right now. So just buckle up. Um, Klaus is so much thicker than Ted. And I think this is just a fact. Some people don't want to agree with it. 
but Klaus is just a thicker version of Ted. And he, he's got he's got jetpacks on his feet and can fly. And he can revive you. How many times has Ted revived you in your life? Let's recall this. Let, no, no, no. Let, 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 let's bring up the chart. How many times has Ted revived you in your entire life? Oh, that's funny. I don't recall Ted ever reviving me. Klaus? Klaus got my back hundreds of times, bro. Me and Klaus go way back. All right, now that we got the Wonder Waffle and all of our stuff, we're not going to focus on Pack-a-Punching the Wonder Waffle right now. It's really just for taking down Zabella. We're just going to chill and get headshots, start maxing out our... Oh, uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. A little bit of reload trick. I'm almost positive everyone knows this at this point, but when you're shooting a bunch and you got to reload, just, you know, take a two-second break, pause for a second, and start shooting again. It reloads your game, or your gun continues to reload even while paused. Ten rapid kills, ten times. We got to get 50 of those. All right, cross your fingers. Give me a good covenant. Give me a good covenant. Ooh, critical expertise. You know, it's not really what I'm looking for, but I will take it. Meaning, so now we can shoot them in the legs, and sometimes it will count as a headshot for us. This is another spot I go while camel grinding. This is a lot more dangerous, and it's not much faster, but sometimes when I'm on this side of the map mid-round, instead of heading back, I'll just chill here. Ooh, especially during a double points. I'd like to max out this perk while I'm here. I really wish I would have just got tier three. Actually, you know, this, if you're hitting crits with this weapon, it's actually taking down the zombies pretty quick. But yeah, pack of punching this weapon to tier three probably would have been better than getting a lot of my perks tier four. Okay, round 27. This thing's actually still doing pretty freaking well. Like, it's not even max packed yet. This is doing better than I remember SMGs doing in this game. But yeah, even on round 33, this thing's still doing very well. Look at this. Look at how quickly this thing's taken down with headshots. We might be able to stay up here the entire time. Oh, well, up here. You know, down, whatever. Down here, bro. I'm thinking about penthouse. Uh-oh. I have got to no bullets. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me. All right, box. Another proposition. I'll give you the money if you give me the bullets. Thank you very much. And we've got the Swift Vengeance Covenant. That's why I'm moving around like a maniac. We do more damage while we're moving around. Would have rather had Unholy Ground because I'd rather stay still. But, you know, when life gives you lemons, you, you just shut up and take them. 1,600 eliminations, boys. We got a long way to go. We, this is going to be... I think this is going to be closer to round 60 than anything. Oh, 45, 10 rapid kills. This is what I'm saying. The 10 rapid kills, it, you, no one should have any issues with it. Just sitting in a spot like this, we don't have Ring of Fire. Legitimately, we're just reloading and continuously shooting. The t oh, oh, uh, and goodbye. Bro, they need to make it where six covenant options instead of three. I feel like you should be able to do an Easter egg to get more covenant spots. Kind of like how you used to be able to get extra perk slots in the older game. Like, you should be able to do, maybe the Easter egg reward on this map should be an extra covenant spot. That sounds like a goaded reward. That'd be so strong to have an extra covenant. Or maybe every Easter egg you do rewards you with an extra permanent covenant spot. Are we about done with the gunner dudes? I think we're almost done with the gunner dudes. Oh, nope, two more. Yeah, well, oh, sh ah, please and thank you, please and thank you, please go away, Zabala, Zabala. You should get more than 5,000 points for taking down Zabala. You should be rewarded like 2.7 million points for each one. Now would probably be the optimized time to start training, because I feel like if we stay in here too much longer, we're going to go down, but I'm stubborn, and I'm going to stay in here longer, even though it's going to jeopardize the run. But luckily, we got the reload trick. If no one got me, the reload trick got me. Just keep slaying, just keep slaying, just keep slaying, just keep slaying, just keep slaying. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Get that reload off. And spam, and spam, and spam, and spam. Well, there's the first down, boys. Oh, we took it now. Not flawless, not flawless, not flawless, not flawless, not flawless. Oh, shoot. Lucky bomb, please. The one cool thing about this game, it, the recoveries, I think, are a little bit easier than Cold War because you get to keep the majority of your perks. You only lose the last here. So it's not like Cold War and you get back up. You only got the three perks. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and open this door, boys. I think it's time. We're not camping here anymore. It's getting too ridiculous to camp. We're on round 50. Dude. For, oh, I don't, I don't have. I thought. Oh, my God. I had. I had. I thought I had three things of frost blast. I just jumped into a horde of zombies, bro. I just jumped into a horde of zombies thinking I had Frost Blast. Oh, and I can't. Okay. Okay. Can't use the crafting table. Good to know. Good to know. Why is the Wonder Waffle not auto reloading? We've got the. Uh. Uh. What's it called? Da. 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 Shouldn't this be automatically reloading while it's in the background? In the back. Like, when we, when we don't have the Waffle, Wonder Waffle in our hand, it should still be reloading because of the covenant we have. 
God dang, bro. Chill, Zabala. Please. Get out of here. Okay. It's taking so long to kill zombies. We just got to go hard when insta kills. Luckily, we don't have to have headshots like Cold War. So when insta kills going, we can just keep spraying. Just, just don't stop shooting. When insta kills are going, start unloading. Come on. This is going to speed it up a ton because these late rounds are taking forever because the, the whole training is just not. Come on, come on, come on. Seven seconds left to insta kill. Keep going, 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 keep going. Oh, technically we could just use the waffle to build up frost blast, but then we'd just be flying through these rounds. This would be like a hundred round Dark Aether in one game, but it's always an option. We also, we could also use decoys. Honestly, yeah, we got to go, go after the decoy. That might be our best bet. Just decoys and frost blasts. Use the decoy to fill, build up the frost blasts. And then once the zombies take it off, horn them up in the middle again. All right, all right, we got a strat going. We got a strat going. Horn them up in the middle. Frost blast, take them out. Although now we're out of decoys. Walmart insta kill. Although we've almost got another frost blast. We do, we do, we do. Come on, zombies in the middle. 800 more pack kills stand between us and the dark, first dark aether in one game on Shionuma. 800 pack kills is all that stands between us. And the first Dark Aether. Uh, get the nuke, get the nuke. Get the nuke, please, and thank you. Oh, and we got Isabella. Oh, come on. Buy some more decoys. Get rid of you. I've already got all of you. You can go as well. Full power ahead. Any kill now? Yeah, I was so wrong. I said round 58. All right, come on. Any Frost Blast now, we're going to get this bad boy. Oh, that insta-kill. We're getting it. This insta-kill is it, boys. There it is. 4,000 pack of bunch kills. Hold on. Yes. Unlock the Plague Diamond Camo for eight weapon classes. Unlock the Gold Fiver Camo for six submachine guns. Complete all camo challenges for this weapon. Come on, Carnage. Let me see that, baby. Let me see that sweet, sweet Dark Aether. Let me see that sweet, sweet Dark Aether. Come, that, come on. You know which one I'm looking for. Dark Aether Unlock. Plague Diamond Unlock. Golden Viper Unlock. That is our very first... Dark Aether in one game on the round braced Vanguard Zombies map, and it's a dub too. And it's a dub, boys. We got a few more. Let me know if you want to see more of these in video form. But now we got to test out and see what this blueprint looks like. But I want to get that Xville because you guys know we're working on that Xville calling card too. Come on, let's go. Where Where's the Xville portal going to spawn at? Now, dude, now we got to get there is the hard part. Oh, we got to get there with full armor. That's actually one of the challenges. Oh, we can't get hit once. We can't get hit once. No, 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 no. Exploding dude, just please don't mind me. Where, where's the expo portal? Gotta have full armor. Gotta have full. No, no, no. Ugh. Crap, crap. We got time. We got time. We got. No, we. God dang. Okay, we don't got time to buy armor. We ain't got no time to buy armor. There's a decoy. Just take the decoy and leave me alone. Take the decoy and leave me alone. Take the decoy and leave me alone. Da, 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 da. Xville, let's go. You're safe for now. Match summary. Let's see. Let's see all these camos. We just... Oh, wait. I forgot. It's not like Cold War. It doesn't show the camos. Like, it just shows that we got all these done. But that's that. That's a little disappointing. Nero, moment of truth. Let's see what the camos look like on these bad boys. Look at that. I kind of like this. I wish the Golden Viper covered more. I just... I love the texture of Golden Viper. I don't mind that a lot of it's not covered. I just wish we got a... We only get to see it on the stock in the magazine. Here's the Akimbo, which, dude, if the Akimbo worked in zombies, these would honestly probably be one of the better weapons because this thing wasn't that bad. Having two of them would have made it insane. Ooh, okay. Plague Diamond looking pretty sick. I don't know why, but for some reason, the weird camo coverage on this kind of just makes the Plague Diamond look a little bit extra spicy. And then last and probably least, we have the big boy Dark Aether Camo. And I mean, it's Dark Aether. Unfortunately, Dark Aether in this game is probably one of the most lackluster mastery camos. But hey, I grind all camos. I don't care if it's a zombies camo, an MP camo. I don't care if it looks like crap. I don't care if it looks good. We get it with this, boys. We got a few more weapons to grind. We got a melee weapon. We've also got a new AR and the new LMG. So we got three more Dark Aether in only one games. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these. I originally stopped this series because, not going to lie, no one cared about the Terra Maledicta ones. No one cared about the Durofong ones. But uh, it's a lot more fun now that we have a round base map to do the Dark Aether in one game. So if we get like a thousand likes on this, we'll do a part two and we will do the new AR as well. Well, and then we'll do the new LMG and then we'll do uh, the new melee weapon, which is coming out fairly soon. Probably should be maybe later this week, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched the entire thing, I uh, appreciate you. If you left like or comment, helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And let me know how many gold guns have you grinded on the brand new round base map.